We're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking in college with Allie. Hey everybody, it's Allie P here, and we're cooking in college with Allie. Basically, this episode, we're not all about cooking. We're about keeping your fridge clean, keeping your microwave clean, and also keeping those dishes clean. It's all important for making delicious food. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get into how to clean our fridge. We need some supplies. We've got our all-purpose cleaner, a dish rag, and a trash bag. This is for all those foods that don't pass any of the tests we're about to go through. Now, tackle it one shelf at a time, and when in doubt, throw it out. We don't want anyone getting sick from expired foods. This stuff, like packaged cheese, does have an expiration date on it. And it tells me exactly when it's gonna go bad. Expiration date is checking out. We're good to go, we're gonna keep it in here. If this was passed though, it would be going in one of those trash bags, you believe it. Here, fresh food. Here we have a container of grapes. Very delicious. First thing, just smell it. If it smells like it's a little funky, then don't even risk it, toss it. Also, really look at it. If you see mold anywhere, again, toss it. You don't wanna be risking these things with getting sick. Okay, so kind of scoped out everything before we tuned in. And um, things are all right. We don't really need to throw out things in my fridge. But something that you should do is after you've checked things out, go ahead and wipe it down. You're gonna spray down the shelf and then you're just gonna let it sit for a minute. After that, you're gonna wipe it off and it'll be pretty clean. You can then put all your food back in there. This is something you can do with the microwave too. The microwave gets pretty icky. You should be spraying it down and cleaning it up. All right, when you're all done with going through your foods, want whipping everything down, you're gonna need to take that trash bag full of the gross food and dump it out in the dumpster ASAP. It will make your whole dorm room smell real quick. Now let's go over to how to take care of those dishes you have. Okay, and now for those dirty dishes. Making sure that your dishes are clean really is for the issue of food safety. This is something that, you know, if you aren't keeping up with it, it can affect your roommate relationship too. So to cover both bases, just make sure that you know how to do your dishes and that you're staying on top of it. If you're not staying on top of it, those dirty dishes can really start to smell and you're in a small dorm room, so this can be a major problem real quick. The easiest thing is that after you use some dishes, go ahead and clean them. Wash them up, it's real easy and it prevents you from getting lazy and having them stack in the sink. Going through how to do your dishes, basically make sure that you have the supplies, something to scrub them with, some dish soap, and a towel to dry or a dish back. Go ahead and um, you know soak them up, get them all good to go, rinse them, and let them dry and do their thing. The really important thing with all this is, like with the fridge and you know the spoiled food and how that can be quite a chore, keeping the microwave clean, having the dishes, it's roomy real talk. You and your roommate may have had conflicts already, or maybe it's one of these things that bring about a roommate conflict. But the important thing is communication and making sure that ground rules are set either right away at the beginning or right when the conflict is happening. Make sure that everything is clear and that you guys are talking and things will go much smoother. So bring up the fact that, hey, the dishes are piling, we all need to work together. Hey, the food is starting to smell, you need to clean the fridge. Or hey, that microwave is pretty gross, let's tackle that. So guys, that's that. We've gone over quite a bit right now, but I want to thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And keep this in mind, college is a challenge, but eating smart doesn't have to be.